Hello everyone, this is Microglasses over here and welcome to another video and today's video I thought of like torturing me a little bit more because I saw the analytics and I found out you guys happen to like that you know it's like making fun of me right so please clear the stage everyone guys and let's make room for the only rock star in the house and it is currently my other hand yes so this is me making art with my other hand aka my left hand part two so let's jump right into it here I'm starting with just some scribbles here and there and just drawing a line to get accustomed to what I'm supposed to do. Like I'm doing a tic tac and that's all. So I thought of doing a freehand drawing and let's see how it goes like I have never tried doing it. Last time I only drew some of the lines and that's all so I thought of drawing a scenery here. And you can see that uh, I am drawing a scenery for after quite some time so I have forgotten some of the edges but here yeah, it, it shows like one type of drawing and I was like kind of shocked that it, it was kind of well off better than the previous one. I thought of practicing a lot before doing the second video but I could not get some time to do that and this is after that and I haven't drawn a single day after that with my left hand. and. So I'm kind of shocked that my muscle memory kind of worked. So the last video was on ballpoint pen and so I thought like doing once in tango with the pen and let's see how different it could be. The very first thing I noticed is that the pencil has the edges on three sides, hexagonal pencils and it helped me have a better grip than this and this is kind of making me worse and I, will, I think I will be sticking to pencil itself for this video. So this is what I made with my right hand and I will be making the same with my left hand on the left side of this paper. So let's get started. I chose this on the first place because there is much not much more detailing to it and uh, this kind of is looking hazy and so I thought like why not trying this and so I'm doing the outer lines and making it grow a little by little. Here you can see the outer lining is complete so after the structure I will be forming in the details. Yeah the details will take uh, quite some time because I'm very poor at it even with my right hand so it takes a lot of time here guys while doing this i noticed that i never did a one stroke drawing before maybe for my pleasure but never on a video so, so i'm thinking of doing it in one of the video in future and you can see how slow i am this is by the way one x and now for the side by side comparison here on the left one is kind of fat in comparison to the right one and the right one seems a bit proportionate than this one and the details on the right one is not but on the left one it was it is blurry because i i could not do the detailing properly so i just use a blending stump to help me with that and just blurred some of the edges to make it look like more on the dimension and uh, the head going buff and so i just did it with a stamp that's what you need to know now when i was comparing both of them i noticed that this small area is left on the right side so i just fixed it with a stamp and now the showdown time i drew this with my right hand and i'm now filling in the colors with my left smaller areas can take so much of time and i have to tell you that coloring was worse than drawing i thought that drawing part would be difficult but the coloring oh my god and the most difficult of all is the shading part oh my god i wanted to show you so i picked up the phone with my right hand but you can see how this table it is i just messed up this part and it is supposed to be white so the white won't go above this and it will look shabby so i was like let's do it with a correction pen what else would we by the way this is a hack if you don't know and the pressure applied to it good lord i mean my fingers were aching after this so after this i was like 
let's do something else and I'm like uh, it's not it can't be the bigger picture at all so I made this okay you can't see this let me adjust the camera a bit and now here you go you can see that right this is what I made and this is uh, with my right hand by the way if you are wondering if I could draw with my left hand no not yet this much so i'm going to color it again with my left hand with pencil colors so let's get started i will be starting with the pink by the way because this is the lightest shade that i have chosen so far and this paper it's very helpful. I'm, t I'm going to tell you better than the what I was using previously. This is a watercolor paper, and this actually sucks in more of the colors and nice. See, I'm not even applying any pressure to it, and it's doing its job because of the texture. It can graph more. I may push this one a little bit further. Here I am completely covering it with the pink color and I'm not doing it completely I mean just overall in the lightest portion where the light here you can see that one stretch of pink is kind of complete and I will be doing this in maybe this pink and a little bit with the purple shade so let's do it and show you after a minute so I'm adding in the purple in the corners to make it pop specifically so you can see here the hair kind of looked plain to me so I'm adding in more layers with different colors so that it gets a more three-dimensional look to it this color I will be doing the base of the skin and then I will do an orange shading after that I have done the skin parts already and using this yellow on the book to make it pop a little bit more to highlight the certain areas I'm using this complementary blue to highlight in this is sky by the way as you can see that it's almost complete only the outlining portion is left I by the way I'm not doing a realism this time so I'm finally able to do the outline with my left hand yeah I'm quite shocked and shocked too that I was able to do I mean I thought it will come out but some of the areas I think this area preferably I won't do it with this pen because this is kind of very thick and it won't go well with the skin so I will be doing it with the liner maybe that time I will cheat a little bit here and there with my right hand so let's do the rest first and I'll show you the results so I'm just redoing some of the areas the color can come out and I, to my surprise, after just doing the outline, I was quite confident and my pressure kind of rose up and without any hesitation I could do because maybe there is no fear of getting out of this bottle line. That is the reason maybe. So let me do it a little bit here and then I'll, I will show you the final results. So here is the completed result. You can say yes, I'm kind of proud of it. Because so this one I did and I did this one with my left hand too and the dancing frog. Yeah, you guys, I think I, you guys will love this one. <laughs> and the last but not the least, the Zentangle one, which I started from the beginning. So these are the four drawings that I did with my left hand. And do write in the comments which one is your favorite and show it some love. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it amongst your friends, subscribe if you haven't already and write it down in the comments how you like it and if you have any suggestions for further videos like um, coming up videos. You can also give me ideas in my um, social links will be down in the description so you can go and have a personal touch over there and I will ask you some of the questions like what you like and you will be giving me ideas for that 
and at one point in the video i was like totally down and i was very much anxious after the i think after the doodle i was very anxious for a bit moment and i was like no no just keep it just stop this mess i cannot go any further but then i thought about you guys you guys your comments actually like pulled me up and pushed me like what am i doing what is a life without challenge right you guys give me challenges that's why i can move further and if I, there is no challenge in life and my life will be stagnant and be not moving or moving in any direction so i thought like let's take this a challenge let it be imperfect i don't care i let me push forward my limitations and i i get to love myself even more because i just backed up a limitation and just push further into something into a better me and that's how i love you guys so much for being there my support being standing beside me so so it's there and i wholeheartedly thank you guys for loving that video and hope you guys will enjoy this too so i will see you next time probably till then bye bye be yourself and rock it peace out